हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेफ डॉक्टर मोहम्मद अहमद आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अनदर लेक्चर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वी विल सी ट्रिक्स टू फाइंड द डेरेवेटिव ऑफ फंक्शंस लाइक ए पावर एक्स साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स वेर ए इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट सो लेट एस बिगिन ओके इन इंटरमीडिएट वी हैव स्टडी इट द डेरेवेटिव ऑफ ई पावर एक्स इज ई पावर एक्स राइट not only the derivative of e power x is e power x but actual procedure is a uh, derivative of e power x is e power x into we have to differentiate here d by dx of whatever there in power x is there in the power that we have to differentiate so because a uh, dx by dx this derivative of x will become 1 so that is why we don't write that but here it's not the case here it is not uh, x it is e power ax so according to this the the derivative of e power ax is e power ax and we have to differentiate ax again when we differentiate ax again d by dx of ax because a is constant that is as it is and e power ax as it is so derivative of x is 1 right so derivative of e power ax we are getting as a into e power ax if i use this for finding the derivative of e power phi x in place of a i am having phi so always a into e power ax so what i'll get here phi into e power phi x right when we find uh, the derivative of e power minus 10x so use the same thing in place of a i am having minus 10 here so what i'll get minus 10 into e power minus 10x right the same way here double derivative of e power minus 7x is there so i have to keep one derivative as it is d by dx i have to keep as it is one derivative i have to find for e power minus 7x so what i'll get minus 7 e power minus 7x right Minus seven is constant. That will be kept as it is. Now derivative of e power minus seven x. Use the same formula. So what I'll get minus seven into e power minus seven x. Right. So when we simplify this, what we'll get plus minus minus will become plus seven seven is a forty nine and e power minus seven x. So this is the double derivative of uh, e power minus seven x. Right. So we have to use this formula e power a x. The derivative of e power a x is a into e power a x. Why we are getting this extra a? Why we are getting this extra a? Because when we differentiate e power x, actually it is e power x into d by d x of uh, x again. Power has to be differentiated again. But d by d x of x is one, so we don't write this. In intermediate, you might have studied this formula a lot. Derivative of e power x is e power x only. But here. in in engineering mathematics we will be using e power ax derivatives where the derivative what we have to do e power ax as it is and derivative of ax is a so i have shown you few examples now we will see the same way we will see integration of e power x okay we have studied this uh, formula in intermediate integral e power x dx integration of e power x is e power x plus c is a constant of integration right Uh, so generally what we do here is uh, integration of e power x is e power x divided by d by dx of x again right d by dx of x again the power has to be uh, differentiated in the denominator actually the process is like this first we have to find the integration of e power x e power x only the power this power x has to be differentiated in the denominator that is dx by dx because that will become one so that is why we don't write and the integration of e power ax will become e power x only right now instead of e power x suppose we are having e power ax where a is a constant it may be negative positive or fraction so integration e power ax dx then what will happen according to this formula it will be e power ax only it will be e power ax and in the denominator we have to find the derivative d by dx of ax so what we'll get here e power ax by derivative of ax a is a constant that will be as it is and 
derivative of x is 1. So, integral of e power ax is nothing but e power ax by a. You note that I am ignoring the constant there because we are not going to use this constant in problem. So, that is why I am ignoring that. So, integration of e power ax is e power ax by a. Right? You consider this problem. Integration of e power phi x. In place of a, I am having phi here. So, what we will get here? e power phi x is divided by phi e power a x by a the same way here integration of e power minus 7 x is there so what we'll get here e power minus 7 x by minus 7 right the same way here double integral of e power minus 2 x is there external integral i have to keep as it is this integral i'm keeping as it is this integral i'm evaluating right so what i'll get e power minus 2 x according to that formula it is e power minus 2 x by minus 2 into dx is it fine internal integral that is this integral i have evaluated now i am going to evaluate one more integral for that minus 1 by 2 i am keeping outside minus 1 by 2 is there that i am keeping outside integration of e power minus 2x integration of e power minus 2x according to this formula it will be e power minus 2x by minus 2 so when we multiply this what we will get minus minus will become plus so e power minus 2x by 4 so this is the required answer right so this kind of integrations e power ax e power 4x e power 7x double integrals also we will be using in engineering mathematics 1 and 2 now we will see derivatives and integrals of sine and cos ax okay now uh, we have studied in intermediate that d by dx of sin x derivative of sin x derivative of sin x is cos x right we have studied this in intermediate now instead of uh, d by dx of sin x if we are having d by dx of sin ax here you see that the difference is sin ax is there whereas here only x is there so uh, derivative of sin is cos we will get cos here we will get cos and uh, actually here this x has to be differentiated again derivative of x is 1 so that is why we don't write 1 but here ax is there no so derivative of sin a sin ax is actually cos ax and that ax has to be differentiated so when we differentiate ax that is d by dx of ax so what we will get here derivative of ax is a only because the derivative of x is 1 so remaining is cos ax so the formula is d by dx of sin ax is a into cos ax this is the formula that we will get the same way if we consider d by dx of cos x we have studied that d by dx of cos x is minus sin x instead of cos x if we consider cos ax if we consider cos ax then d, d by dx of cos ax is minus sin ax and d by dx of d by dx of ax so what we will get here d by dx of derivative of ax is a into a minus sin x so finally what we will get minus a sin ax right so these are the two formulae that will be very much useful in engineering mathematics d by dx of sin ax is a cos ax d by dx of cos ax is minus a sin ax now we'll see a few examples on this so consider d by dx of sin 4x so what i told you d by dx of sin ax is a into sin ax so according to that it will be d by dx of sin 4x is 4 into sin 4x so the same way d by dx of cos 6x will be derivative of cos will be minus sine so it will be minus a that is minus 6 minus 6 sine 6x right now we will consider one double derivative so at a time we have to uh, differentiate one so i am keeping d by dx as it is now uh, derivative of sine minus 3x derivative of sine minus 3x it will be minus 3 sine minus 3x right this minus 3 will be as it is minus 3 will be kept outside as it is now d by dx of sine derivative of sine is uh, cos cos minus 3x and again we will get minus 3 because of the inner integration inner derivative minus 3 
I am getting because of this derivative of minus 3x. So final answer will be minus, minus will become plus 3, 3 is a 9, uh, cos minus 3x. Right? Hope you have understood this. Derivative of sin ax and derivative of cos ax. Now we will see integration of sin ax and integration of cos ax. Okay. Now, uh, in intermediate we have discussed that uh, integration of sin dx, integration of sin x is minus cos x. Right? Plus c will be there. I am ignoring that. Constants I am ignoring. Integration of sin x is minus cos x. So if I use actually uh, what will be the integration of sin x it will be minus cos x by it will be minus cos x by a uh, derivative d by dx of d by dx of this term x. So because d by dx of uh, uh, this d by dx of x will become 1 so that is why we don't write that d by dx of x will become 1 that is why we don't write this but here it is not the case. If you see this term, integration of sine ax where a is a constant, it may be a positive number, negative number or a, a fraction. Actually, we have to differentiate this ax here in this case. Right? So, because here uh, d, d, d by dx of x will become 1, we don't write that. So, derivative of sine x is minus cos x. That is what we have studied in intermediate. But if we are having this uh, integration, sorry, uh, integration of sine x will be minus cos x. Derivative is becoming 1. We don't write that. But here it is not the case. Integration of sine ax will be, see, this ax we have to differentiate again in the denominator. So, in integration of sine ax is, first it is minus cos x, minus cos x divided by, uh, that ax has to be differentiated. So, what we will get? d by dx of ax actually here. d by dx of ax. So, finally, it will be uh, minus cos ax by a derivative of ax. This ax is then no? Derivative of ax will be a only because the derivative of x will become 1. So, integration of sin ax is nothing but minus cos ax by a right the same way we have discussed we have studied in intermediate that integration of cos x is sin x right integration of cos x is sin x again the same procedure here what will happen we have to differentiate with respect to x we have to differentiate x with respect to x that will become one so that is why we don't write this here right but here in this case integration of cos a x will be sin a x sin ax by uh, we have to differentiate ax again so d by dx of ax right what we'll get here sin ax sin ax by a derivative of x will become 1 so we have established two formulae here one is uh, integration of sin ax is minus cos ax by a and integration of cos ax is sin ax by a. So by using this formula, we can find this type of integrals, right? Integral of sin 2x, it will be minus, it will be minus cos 2x by 2, right? Because integration of sin 2x, sin ax is minus cos ax by a. We have established just now, you can see that we have established, uh, we have established that integration of sin ax is minus cos ax by a. So by using that, we can write here uh, minus cos 2x by 2. The same way if I am having integration of cos my cos of minus 2x. So integration of cos is actually integration of cos is sin. So in bracket minus 2x as it is. Now I have to differentiate this. So what I will get here minus 2. Right. The same way suppose I am having a double derivative. Suppose I am have sorry, double integral. Suppose I am having double integral. Double integral of sin 3x. So one integral I have to keep as it is. One integral I am keeping as it is. Now I have to integrate this sin 3x. Integration of sin 3x is minus cos 3x by 3. Right? Into dx. Now minus 1 by 3 is a constant that I will write outside minus 1 by 3 as it is. Now integration of cos 3x. Integration of cos is sin 3x sin 3x by sin 3x by 3 so final will be uh, minus sin 3x by 3 3 is a 9 so final answer is minus sin 3x by 9 this is this is the double integral of sin 3x so this is how we have we do 
द इंटीग्रेशन एंड डेरिवेटिव्स ऑफ ई पावर एक्स साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस थैंक यू